In this video, we'll be seeing how to implement switch in Android. So you can go to the layout activity main and go to the split mode and we'll be adding a switch here. You can choose the switch material, this one that I'm going to choose. And you can set warp content, warp content. Close the tag. We can give an ID for the switch. We can also give a text for the switch. So here we are simply showing the turn on night mode and turn on light mode option. So we are simply creating the demo. So this will be simply the UI part. If you want to set the night mode option, you can refer the video that we have already created in our channel. So you can go to our channel and check out the video. I will give the link for this video on the description or you can simply come to our channel and you can see the video here. So you can see this video and set the night mode option from here. Now let's get back to the video. Now we can set an icon for the switch. So you can type thumb and then you can give the icon. So before that we can go to the drawable and add a new icon. So go to the new and you can see the vector assets and you can choose simply type sun and you will get this sun image. We can add this. You can see that we have added the icon sun here on the drawable. Now we can call that icon here. You can see that the icon has been changed on the switch. So in order to view that properly, we can set an tint for the icon. So you can type tint and you can see thumb tint. Then we can give a color. Let's choose black for now. And you can see the icon is properly visible now. We can change the color later on. So right now let's set it to black itself. So now we can change the parent layout to linear layout. We can also set an orientation vertical. Set a gravity to center. Okay, now our layout part is almost complete. So we'll be doing this much only on the layout part. You can further continue and design the layout part according to your needs. Now go to the activity main Java part. And here you have to create an object for the switch material class. So come here inside the own create method. Type switch material and create an object equal to find view by ID r dot id dot then give the id of the switch that we just created so if you don't remember the id of the switch you can go to the activity main xml part and you can see the id here okay so don't make the mistake on the id part otherwise you will get error okay initialize the object and then we can set an on click listener for the switch switch dot set on click listener new on click listener Okay, and inside the on click listener, we can check if the switch is checked or not. If the switch is turned on or not. Okay, check means the switch is on. So here you can see right now the switch is not turned on. Now we can check here if switch dot is checked. And if it is checked, we can set the text to turn on night mode. And also we can change the icon to something like a moon image or something like that so for that you can go to the drawable and add an asset for the moon so you can actually download a good icon from the internet and use that so in order to make this video faster we are going to use the assets inside the android studio so we're going to do with this okay it is enough for now okay and you can click next and finish so we have added the icon here now we can set the icon first of all so switch dot set thumb drawable. Inside that you can call the get drawable and then we can pass the r dot drawable dot then the file name. Okay, now you can see this in yellow. You can simply click here and type all tender and you can see this option suspend use compact loading for drawables you can simply click that and it will add this line on the top that's all or you can simply ignore that okay and come to the next line and we can set the text view
Okay, and same here, you can see this in yellow. Click here and type all tender. And you can simply click on this option here. And that will add this line here. Okay, that's all. Okay, or you can simply ignore that option. Okay, then we can set a tint for the icon. So for that, switch material dot set thumb tint list. Okay. And choose this. Inside that we can pass the color list. So color list dot value of then we can choose the color. So color dot so for the night mode we can set the color white so it will be much better visible and set the color white. Okay. Then we can set the toast message if you want to show a toast message we can show the toast message so here you can start implementing the code for actually turning on the light mode or the white mode so you can do that here so instead of that i'll be showing a toast message so if you want to implement the night mode and light mode option you can go and refer the video i will give the link on the description simply use the exact method and implement the code here it will be very easy for you you can simply watch that video and implement it here. That's all. So I'll be showing the toast message here. Now we can go to the else part of this if condition. Else. And if it is false, that is the is checked option is false. Then the switch is not checked. You can do the same code here. You can simply copy this much from here. We are copying it till here and paste it on the else part. Hope the code is properly visible for you. Okay, I will adjust the screen. Okay. And you can change the text to turn on light mode. And we can also change the drawable here to sun. Okay, and we can change the white color to yellow color. And that's it. We can also change the toast message. Okay. So the switch is turned off. Okay, that's all. Now the implementation part is almost complete, I guess. So that's all. You can run the application and check it. You can see the app has launched and we are having the button and the text turn on night mode. You can click the switch here and it will switch to night mode. So you can see that the text is also changing. Okay. Hope it is visible for you properly. Okay, so it is working properly. So the first time when the app loads, this text will be loading. I will show you. Okay, so when the first time the app loads, this will be the text that will be showing. So I think we have to set it to turn on light mode or something. So you can actually set the text according to the state of the app. So I am showing that in the video. So you can check that video. I have already done the video for night mode. So you can check that video and do that part properly. So hope you understand that. Okay. So this video is complete. Hope you understand how to implement switch on Android. If you have any doubt, you can leave a comment below and I'll respond to them. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel for more such videos.